Hi, this is Rachel from the Dotting Center. So today's project is wood magnets. These are probably one of my favorite first projects for a beginner dot painter. It really could not get uh, easier than this. It's a very unintimidating type of project which I think is super important when you're first starting out. You don't want to get, you know, freeze up with a big huge canvas or something that's expensive or, you know, really large. Stay small, keep it simple. So this is the perfect project to use our dotting tools from the Dotting Center. And I'm also using Lumiere Metallic Fluid Acrylic Paint. This is my favorite acrylic paint. I think this is a great paint for beginners because it's nice and fluid and it just falls right off the tool really well. There's a project we just did. We made a spray bottle. I'm going to spray my paints because I'm going to use the caps as a palette. And this will just keep them from drying as I paint my magnets. Now let's get on to magnet design number one. Now I have two different designs. We're going to start out with one magnet that's been stained with a brown stain. We're just going to start right in the center with tool number 10 and place one large white dot right in the center. Now let's take the number two tool and place a dot at north, south, east, and west. So basically like a crosshair shape. One at the top, one at the bottom and then one on each side and then what you do is you place a dot in between those dots that you just made. So we're going to use this number two tool for every row of dots that extend out from the center of this design. Now we're going to place a dot in between each of those dots that we just made. So now we're going to do a paint color change and we're going to use the dots from the previous row to tell us where to place our next dots. We're using the same tool and we're just going to place a dot in between the two dots above it. So you'll see that there are two pink dots. You just want to place your orange dot in between where those two pink dots are and you'll do that all the way around and just use the two pink dots in the previous row as your guide and that will give you a clue as to where to space your dots. Now here is something you can do. You can skip a space, right? And then do the same thing, skip a space so that you have them equally spaced out and then cut that space in half with the dot. All right, so now those first two rows are completed. We're just going to go in with a different color for each row, doing the same process with the same size tool. And then as you extend those rows outward, you'll notice that the spacing becomes a little wider. And you'll be able to fit your dots nicely in between those spaces. And again, we'll just use the previous row as a guide. And you'll just extend that all the way out to the edge of the magnet. And so now this one is complete with this last row. We're just going to let that dry and move on to design number two. So this one I painted a red base coat. So for this magnet we're going to start with tool number 11 and place one orange dot right in the center of your magnet. Now let's grab your smallest tool, that's tool number one. We're going to use a bunch of different sizes for this design. So place a dot at the north, south, east, and west side of your circle, basically dividing the magnet into fourths. And now what we're going to do is place two dots in between each one of those segments and just space them out so that they have equal spacing on uh, all sides. Now 
Now let's switch the paint color and flip your tool over to the other side, which is side uh, tool size two. This is slightly larger size and place a dot in between those two green dots with a different color. So you can see this dot size is just a little larger. Now grab your orange tool, uh, tool number three, and grab a different color. And we're gonna place a dot at the north, south, east, and west of your magnet. Again, splitting it into fours. This makes sure that everything stays on track. And then you'll just line up that pink dot with the previous green dot. If this is your first project, I would like to interject here and just tell you that it's okay if your dots are not perfect. When you are doing your first projects, it's very easy to be overly critical and want things to be perfect. And I can tell you from experience, oftentimes in the end, you can't even tell. If there's a dot that's off by a little bit, it's going to be just fine. So keep moving through it. Now we're going to move on to tool number four. You just turn your orange tool to the other side. And we're going to place a dark dot, one that's slightly larger, in between the two previous dots. It's the same method. And your eye will learn to be trained to line it up with the two previous dots and uh, split things up symmetrically. And that's part of the joy of dotting is it's a very, it's mathematical, but it's still very creative. And so if you like things in its place, if you like checking things off, if you're, if you're into puzzles or, um, you know, things that are organized, you know, but still creative, this is the perfect hobby for you. So I'm super excited for you. All right, now we're gonna drop down in size, and move down to tool number four. And we're using blue, and we're just gonna place a dot in between the two green dots and go all the way around. So now we've reached the end of the magnet. So we're gonna let this dry. This is basically our first level of dots. We're gonna let that dry because you don't wanna add any dots on top of wet paint. So this is dry. We're going to use tool number eight with a different color and come in right on top of that center dot and just place a different color. And now let's take our number one tool and go in between some of these blank spaces in between dots. You can actually fit a dot in between. So we're going to just add some detail dots and you can use whatever color you'd like. And wherever there's a space, if you're not sure if a tool will fit in between a space, just dry fit it without any paint on it and make, make sure that it will work before you add the paint. So now we're going to switch to a larger tool because those outside dots are pretty big. And then just place a different color on top of those. And I think you can see how you can add detail to the dots using top dots and different colors and different sizes. Now all our magnets are dry, so we're going to use some high gloss varnish to finish it off. I like Liquitex high gloss varnish. It's just uh, my preferred varnish and it's only because it works. I'm sure other ones work just as well. It's just when you find something that works, you just stick with it. So for this one, we're going to go in and just add a light 
coat of varnish. One thing to keep in mind is these magnets are going to be used and touched. They are practical art pieces. So rather than something just hanging on your wall, you'll be actually touching these, posting things on your fridge with these. So these are high touch items. So you want to make sure that they have a nice uh, thick coat so that they're protected because they will be used. And we'll just do that with all of the magnets. Look at how that metallic paint just shimmers. It's so pretty. I love that paint. Make sure you get the edges and look at how nice it shines it up. It actually, I think it adds to the brilliance of the colors. See how it deepens that blue? I love how different uh, varnish can make your paint look it just looks more saturated and more lustrous so that has dried for about an hour and you can see that's one coat of varnish so we're just going to go over the top with another coat and just give it that extra level of gloss and then that's going to be it for these magnets going to let them dry for 24 hours and then they're ready to be used now aren't those magnets just so super precious they're so fun and they're easy to whip up. They're great for gifts. So let me know what you think. Did you like this? If you did, let me know in the comments. And as always, you can meet me over at thedottingcenter.com for any of your dot art supply needs. Thanks again, guys. Until next time. Bye.